GM everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto. Today, we're exploring the intersection of music and cryptocurrency, featuring an artist who's captured the spirit of the blockchain world through song. This episode is brought to you by BitGet, where you can hear from founders, builders, investors, and traders as we discuss all things crypto in just five minutes. Let's get started with today's episode. I'm your host, James, and it's a pleasure to introduce Lil Bubble, a true pioneer in the world of Web3 entertainment, renowned for transforming chart-topping hits into captivating blockchain anthems. Lil Bubble has carved a unique niche, merging the rhythm of music with the pulse of the digital age. Welcome to the show, Lil Bubble. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here, so we're going to dive straight in. Can you describe who Little Bubble is and what the character represents? Yeah, Lil Bubble is based on the crypto moon boy stereotype, and he represents the everyday crypto trader, speculator, degenerate gambler, and yeah, basically comments on the highs and lows of the crypto markets through song. I just try to have fun with current events and market conditions using a lot of satire and sarcasm and lean on the character as a cringy little degenerate. It's certainly not financial advice. So that's quite the introduction. What inspired you to create your first crypto themed song? I pretty much live on my MacBook and just love making things. And when I got into crypto in 2017, I started making memes under my handle, the crypto bubble. And I had an idea for a song called When Moon during the bear market. And I needed a character or an alias to release it under. So Lil Bubble was born and it was only going to be one song, but it went kind of viral and I made another one and then another one. And here we are about five years and 10 million views later. Excellent. And can you share your creative process behind transforming popular songs into these crypto themed parodies? Yeah, so my background is in music production and graphic design. So the project kind of really suits me as a, I guess you'd say a full stack creator. And the, the song process itself can kind of vary but I typically try to find a song title or a lyric that would work with a crypto theme. And if I find a winner, I can usually build out the rest of the lyrics pretty quickly. If not, I'll just abandon the idea and move on to the next one. I'm pretty picky and it really has to work without forcing things too hard. So a lot of ideas do get scrapped, but yeah, from there I recreate all the instrumentals, record and mix the music, shoot and edit a music video and we're done. But yeah, there's probably a lot more work involved than most people realize. But like I said, I just enjoy making things. So that's kind of fun for me. With the Web3 Entertainment narrative gaining momentum and your recent initiatives like the upcoming album and the clothing line launch, how do you see these influencing content creation and audience engagement in this you know, Web3 space? Yeah, I think the entertainment side is kind of a natural growth area for any new space gaining traction online. And with the more tools that are being like made available to artists, I guess the, the interaction's only going to keep expanding. And yeah, I definitely wasn't the first, but I feel like I was very early to the crypto or Web3 music scene. So much of these things weren't really available, whether it be Web3 tools or platforms at the time. And I was just doing it purely for the love and entertainment. So it's cool to see how things like NFTs and metaverse and different platforms are now onboarding a new wave of artists and giving us all the tools to share and connect in new ways. Great. And looking forward, what can fans expect from Lil Bubble in terms of new content or projects? More parodies, as always. I've started rolling out original singles from my debut album, so they'll keep coming as well. I'm looking forward to just pushing Lil Bubble as a legitimate artist with his own sound. So that's something that's exciting me at the moment. And you mentioned my new clothing line that's called Ponzi People and features some custom Lil Bubble pieces, which are available online now too. Thank you very much for joining us, Little Bubble. It's been incredible hearing about your journey in blending music with the crypto world. Definitely one of my most favorite phenomena to come out of the cryptocurrency realm. Again, thank you for joining us. Yeah, like I said, I just enjoy making stuff. So I'm blessed to have found a like-minded audience and community to share it all with. So yeah, thanks for having me. And for our listeners, make sure to check out Lil Bubble's latest tracks and upcoming projects. You won't want to miss out what's next in this exciting fusion of music and crypto. Thanks for tuning into 5 Minute Crypto. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. For more on Lil Bubble and his work, check out the links in the episode description. Join us next time for more insightful stories from the vibrant world of cryptocurrency. Until then, hold on.